Hello everyone, Wangjol here, and welcome back to Wimworld. So in the last episode, we managed to get a few things done. We managed to finish off the immunization research for most sicknesses. So now our colonists, as long as they take the medicine every season, will never get sick again. How cool is that? We are now finishing off our research as well to get the bulk uh, mechanite one as well, if I remember right. Yes, yeah, we nearly finished it in fact. So when we do this, we can actually stop us getting any mechanite infections as well. Although, I personally feel they're not that big a priority compared to the other ones. So we're definitely going to keep it in mind, for the future at least. We also managed to get a couple of other things done. We've now started to actually do a bit of groundwork to make the base a lot more physically attractive, to say the least. And we've got some new creatures, such as Dreamweaver here. The saber tooth chicken cat thing. That we managed to grow in the last episode. Very, very odd, to say the least. And why are you sleeping out here, good man? Did we not set the beds up yet? <coughs> yeah. He's got a bed for Dreamweaver. It's just, she, he just wants to sleep in the porch, I guess. Fair enough. Not going to stop him doing that. Oh, and we also managed to pick up a new colonist here, Loba. Our first alien colonist in the form of she is from the Logan uh, well, race. And as you can see, she was a very, very good find for us. I think she was injured, wasn't she, from uh, like one of the transport crashes? And we managed to get her, if I remember correctly. But all in all, I was pretty happy with that result. So what's the plan for today's episode? Well, we're just going to expand the base a little bit more. I think we need to, I really want to try and make somewhere now a bit more recreational for our colonists. Because at the moment, we've got all our stuff going squeezed into this one area. And I would like to try and make it a little bit just nicer, you know. We also need to finish off some more research. We've got our things getting set up in the future for us to be able to work on organ vats. So we can start growing our organs and things with the questionable ethics mod. So I think mining out a bit of the base here is probably going to be good in terms of expanding the our lab a bit. So let's queue that up. Let's see, we'll go say something like that for now, but we're also going to leave one square here as a support pillar and then we can focus on clearing the rest of that out ready for our new tech to go in. Lou, 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 you're still being busy here I see. Good on you. Alright, what else do we have? We've got Muffalo DNA, Insectoids, Wolf. I mean we can always did we ever combine a mufflow and a wolf in this campaign? I don't think we have. Shall we? I think that could be interesting. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go and get another incubator. We need the this one, isn't it? Gene pod. Nice standard gene pod. And let's go do a mufflow wolf, or do we get the other way around? I can never remember if you can swap them around so it's like wolf mufflo, because in case that makes a different creature. Yeah, let's go um, Muffalo Wolf. And what do we need for this? Oh, we don't need any organic pulp. We just need it for that. In that case. Pop. Okay, how many did we need for the bench? One organic pulp. Do we have any in our inventory? Do, 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 do. No, we do not. Okay, do we have any wood in the inventory? No, we do not. Wow, where's all our stuff gone? And we can't even... Wow, we haven't even got bamboo to make wood. That's annoying. I don't know, it's because we're probably growing it. And we've been using it, of course, to expand some of the bedrooms out. Because now we've got them all done, we might as well start making them suitable for guests and that to come and stay. So we've got Loba's room sorted out. And we've got started on the blue room here. And yeah, that's probably where our bamboo's just spit off to. Fair enough. Could try and grow some more, in fact. Oh no, we already got two fields worth growing already, and we can always make the third one should we need to. I mean, to be honest, how much heal roots do we have right now? We've probably got quite a bit. Like 72. Okay. What I'm going to do is, with the next crop, I'm actually going to prevent it from sowing. In fact, these are nearly done. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to get into some neutronamine as well. That was what I was really eyeing up, is this one here. Because we're going to need a lot of neutronamine if we want to make our colonists immune to getting sick. So we definitely need to make sure we do that. Oh, hang on. Found steel. Oh, right. 
Okay, okay, let's... Cancel that one a minute. Mine connected all. Alright, so we're already mining it already, that's fine. Didn't realise that. May have to move this bench over slightly if we're going to thing, but... Otherwise... I'm trying to remember, did we queue up radiology? I can't remember. Radiology. Because this was the other one I wanted to play around with, and I don't think we've done anything with it yet. Let's queue up a few of these. Maybe not that. Dynamics. Oh yeah, let's go for that one then. Trade-off filter, media, intermediate blocking. There we go. Nice, right, so we got that. Let's have a quick look at the bionic bench again. One of the things I'm trying to do is sort out how we would like fix people's stuff. Like, you know, Neely's back is destroyed at this point. And yet I'm still funding, there's no bionic way of us doing it. So we're obviously going to have to just stick to trying to grow them, I guess. Although, how do you grow a back? That's I suppose, was one of those things we're going to find out thanks to the uh, questionable ethics mod. Alright, let's clear these. Oh yeah, because we're doing T2 androids at the moment. And then we'll be able to eventually learn how to program them. Ah. We're now going smoothed granite, so the place is... Ooh, meteor. Left a bit of limestone behind. Well, that's not a lot. Oh, manhunter pack. Dremidoes. Dremidoes? The... Holy... How many of them is there? 25 of them. Jesus Christ. Okay, should we go hunting? <laughs> I don't know how effective this is going to be, but let's, um... Loba and Jarvis, of course, you guys haven't got a defense position yet, do you? Okay, let's key you up. I need to give you a gun, actually. You are much, nearly as good at shooting as you are with melee, so... Let's switch you over to that. What can we give you? Rackne SMG? Sure, smart sniper rifle? What other guns do we have? Do we have any more guns? I could have swore we had some... I mean, we've got this pistol here with charged sidearm, but that's about... Yeah, let me just double check. Three damage, armor of persons, SMG here. Four damage. Okay, Loba, go and pick up this Arachne SMG. Jarvis, you're going to be equipped as well. Let's, um... Don't know where we're going to put you, to be honest. Let's stick you there for now. We might as well let the these things come towards us. We can get quite a bit of meat for the freezer, at least. Obviously, we just have to be a bit careful, because, well, we've got a lot of them to deal with. Okay, Loba, did you get pick up the gun? You did. Okay. Well, let's just have you come here for the minutes. Alright, set off the traps. That's one down, 24 to go. <laughs> Alright, I think that's injured some, but hasn't killed any more. Okay. Oh, hang on, squid. Swap your gun. Okay, sulfur, release the hounds. Oh, this is just a massacre. This is just an absolute massacre here. Oh, I feel kind of bad about this. Okay, well, that worked. Okay, everyone, you can get back to work now. Uh, there you go. Oh, there's one more left. Uh, fuzzy. Fuzzy? Fuzzy? There we go. Let's just get you a thing, and I tell you what, Miri, since you're here, let's just have you pop here, ready to deal with this last one. And I think that was it, then. That's a lot of meat for our freezer now. There we go. You guys can get off now. Head off from what you need to do. Fuzzy, thank you. Well, I tell you what, it might be a better choice. Instead of just hunting them, let's just tame, uh, kill them. And then I should persuade them, because that's a task one job for everyone. Is Adam doing it? There we go. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate your work. 
Right. Uh, thank you, Lou. Okay. 21 of them to haul in. I think we may have to try and render some of them down for genetic material. So I'll tell you what, let's ask for nine lots. If I pop on here, check for genes. And I can spell the word gene. Non-specialized, four. Okay, let's say eleven, because then that gives me three rolls then. Let's see what we can recombine. And that still gives me nearly 13, 14 animals then for me to be able to butcher in order to meet meat. So, yeah, that will work. Okay, how's everyone else over here? Oh, Jarvis, you're healing up. Thank you. And you can self-tend. That's good. Have you self-tended yet? Nope, you're being a good guy. You're going to help and lines are out. So just to let you remind you guys, you're more than welcome to name any of the animals, at least. Next episode I'll do with Wimworld, I will probably open it up so people can change the colonist names as well. So as long as they're nothing too stupid, shall we say, or too, you know, rude, I'm pretty happy with whatever. So yeah, I may open that up for the next one, but for now, I'm pretty happy with just um, sticking with the names that we've already got. So we've got Jarvis and Loba, I think there's some good ones. Okay, finish that off. Right, how much of this do we have left? 27. I mean, just doing 18 lots of the tablets for immunization has really sort of gone through our metronomine mix, and this is with us actually making a fair bit of it. So, yeah, it's a good idea that we've actually decided to maybe expand it out a bit more. Jesus Christ, our freezer is just absolutely full of dead animals at this point. <laughs> oh dear. Diplomatic marriage. Loba's charm has reached Lassia and they've asked you for Loba's hand in marriage. Uh, no. She's a good addition to the colony. I'm not letting you have her. I mean, I know she's a strong, independent woman. She can choose her own choices, but no. T2 androids. There we go. They find more efficient ways of locomotion, how to capacitate for a large thing. Basically, that you can do more with them. And you can get up to tier 5 ones, but you can't make tier 5. You ha can only find them because a strange event happens in the world map. But otherwise, you can sort of um, make up to tier 4 at least, and those become extremely skilled. Now, I do need to get rid of some of this food. You know what I'm going to do? Let's pop on here and our stove. Let's pause in a minute. Right. Now, I don't know what um, Tyler's cooking ability is, but if we can find stews, eight pots of stews. Okay, no one can cook that yet, but I'd rather have that set up as a priority first, okay? So we'll set that up, we'll make it so, let's say we have it up to 60. Uh, 60. Hang on, we're in eight, so we'll do it as 64. And we'll have it when it goes down to eight, we'll have it done. Take it to the freezer. There we go. Now, the other thing we want to do is now that we've got quite a bit of food options, I want to try and go for maybe some fine meals instead. So this way then, we can make sure that we get a nice little boost of meat to some decent meals. And it allows us to use our stockpile up a little bit more. So if we do, say, the same thing here, 60 meals. Let's just drop this when they get down to... 24, say. Take the freezer, look everywhere, there we go. That way then we'll be able to go through what's in there a bit more. And as long as I prison, that's the thing. In the prison we've only got it so they only have simple meals in here, don't we? Like we're not letting them starve, we are giving them some food, we're just giving them simple stuff. There we go. Right, there we go. Thank you, Gizmo, for working on that. So what will we search next? Advanced programming, and we can start working sterile mati mat materials. materials. And we've got more than enough silver, we can actually make proper sterile stuff for not only for the hospital, but also at least in this section of the laboratory, because having sterile floors down on, on the floor actually increases your research speed a bit. So that will be definitely something we want to try and do. Is there any more, just having to double check, any more linkables we can do? Don't think so. No matter. Alright, oh, there's still more Mets steel here. 
Okay, we can do that. Alright, let's move... No, let's keep it as it is. Tyler is no longer inspired, so he no longer has the lift go. That's annoying. I've got loads of fertilizer in that again. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go shopping. So let's go to the cargo pod. Now remember, we can use this and basically to transport our caravans. So let's take our best social person, which is Gizmo. We're not going to worry about bringing any of the animals with us. But what we can do is pop on here and let's just load up with whatever we want to sell. Let's start from the bottom, of course. Best way to do it, in my opinion. We're going to take, say, 2,000 silver just so we can spend it. Shield belt will keep. Protective gear. Tactical vest will keep for the moment. Um, I don't know. What's better? Let's have a quick look. 80-40. Okay. Okay. In that case, we'll get rid of the combat vest. The flak vest can go. The parkers will keep. The helmets we're going to keep, of course. Tooks can stay... Any of our guns? Oh yeah, I forgot we had an anesthetic gun. Forgot all about that. Alright, we'll load up the fun bubble ones. We'll take that. Oh, we're going to sell off the burn gauntlet at this point. Anesthetic gun's going to be handy for when we want to make prisoners. Spine, I'll sell the spine off. We haven't lost any of the spines yet, we just got no, the back. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got... Yeah, we learned about that in psychology. The spine actually can, uh, holds muscle memory. So when people think, oh, your brain's working all the time, it doesn't. It actually can, you know, it doesn't control everything. A lot of, like, your impulsive responses don't actually reach your head. It just happens in the spine, in a way. It's a quite cool little thing we learnt about. Okay, we need that. We got that. Let's get rid of these. Just because they're just taking up space at the moment. Biosolids, I mean, to be honest, we could just try and clear up all the sludge we got outside. Ugh, have you? Alright, interfaces, psychoid leaves will keep, smoke thing, alpha poly, we can sell. Plastio we're keeping, fertilizer, let's get rid of like a thousand of this, so this let's be honest here. Yeah. Uranium, dirt can go, steel will keep, rotted mush can go. Incendiary <laughs> shells, high shells, methadone. Jesus Christ, we've got a lot of stuff I've just been going through trying to find it all. Like we've got a lot, absolutely loads of camel hide. Um, yeah, that's not going to be as useful for us. I'll sell that, 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 that. We'll keep the others. Hyperweave, Mega Sloth, Wool, Cloths, Components. We'll get rid of the Hive pieces because I don't plan to try and do the research that for one of the mods we've got, we can make it so we can build our own hives and, you know, uh, farm insect jelly from it. But to be honest, I'm not that fussed about it. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get, keep the insect jelly for the moment, I guess. Everything else is fine. We've got like thousands of meat at this point. We're never going to run out. Confirm. And there we go. We're going to go on a nice shopping trip now to one of the nearby settlements. Hopefully clear out the inventory a little bit. Alright, let's continue in. Oh, did our animal grow yet? Or did we not... Um, bulk goods trader? Revenge? Oh wow, that was just getting massacred by all those oh, kunai. Okay, that can come. That can be hauled in. Might as well take more meat when we can. We'll get some feline DNA coming in too, and some wolf DNA. There we go. Alright, in that case... Oh Jesus Christ, we've got so much food! It's meat, it's actually coming out of the freezers at this point. And we have to make sure we Oh, it's technically frozen. Oh, wow. It's actually... Le the temperature's leaking out into the kitchen. So because of that, then, we are obviously doing okay for terms of food. Huh. Fair enough. Four stir fry meals. Four fine meals. Okay. Tyler's going to get on board in a minute, then, and start sorting that out. Let's get some more wolf and cat DNA. Since we're here. Uh, feline, can it? Oh, these guys are leaving because of dangerous temperatures. Oh, well you didn't stick around for long, did you guys? 
And it's minus 25. I mean, it, it might get colder soon. But I didn't think it was going to happen, like, right now. Might need some more water coming in. Just thinking, because at the moment, our towers are getting drained quite quickly. This one's not too bad, but it's just mainly because of all the irrigation that we've got on, happening here. I mean, it's useful, don't get me wrong, but it is going to be taking up a fair bit of our water. Definitely for us for bear in mind. Okay, you guys are doing that now, so we're now working on sterile materials. We can start working on the rest of this, including biofuel refinery. So we'll be able to actually make fuel then for this. What's left? Still got the alpha poly, the spine, loads and loads of fertilizer, fur, all sorts. Okay. Did they... Oh, someone already carved up the, the wolf DNA. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh well, one of those things. Okay, how many of these do we have in here now? 13. Let's try and get one more, I guess. Uh, let's see, squid? Can you just quickly do this for me, please? Thank you. Alright, Tyler now, what are you making? Stir fried meals. Okay, that's fine with me. Oh, we're just boosting for this research right now. Oh, that's going to be a fun one to try and do on. I don't think I've ever done that before. Make uh, integrated weapons for a character. That could be quite interesting to try out. Oh, I'm looking forward to some of this stuff. Dreamweaver, you just have a... Oh, great, another infestation. Where is it? It's in the hallways. Crap. Okay, 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 right. Uh, do we want you these guys to try and get armor on, or do we just want to get them into position to attack? <sighs> to be honest, I think we might as well just get them in position here. To shoot them as soon as they come down. Hopefully all this, you know, all this guns is going to help us out a bit. Uh, Sulfur, we make sure you're on the front line. You are. Oh, don't... Dreamweaver, get out of there. Gizmo's collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. Really? Here they come. Here they come. Okay. F say what, guys? Guys? Uh, everyone's shooting. Focus on the big one first. Okay. Focus on this one next. Okay. Focus on this one next. Okay, I know our cat uh, animals are getting injured, but still need to focus on these big ones. The little ones aren't that big a deal, I would say, in comparison. So making sure we can kill these off quickly is going to be much more useful. Okay, next one. This is one of the handy things to remember, guys. Concentration of firepower is key. There's no, with all the guns we've got, we can easily kill the enemies, animals in like a few volleys, right? So rather than worry about, okay, oh, we need to, you know, come over and, you know, focus our, all our attention on, oh, why right, we need to, you know, do this and do that. Instead, just, like, do enough damage that we know we're going to kill off this one in one sh a few sh shots. Now this one. And this one. Who needs sulfur? You need rescue, do you? Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, is that all the... Bugs? I think it is. I think we're done. Fantastic. Can't see any more animals around. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? it took a few injuries, but otherwise on the whole, it w I've seen worse. Right, let's... Uh, okay, you're going to rescue that. Can you rescue Sulf... Nope, Lova's doing that. Gerador's... Alright, well, 
all the people that are supposed to be fixing them up is doing exactly that. It's great to see. Uh, you're bleeding out in 20 hours. We may have to keep an eye on that. Oh, you've been hurting your eye. On <laughs> the cleaning bot. I can just see the cleaning bot inside just sort of like la de la de la. Okay. Alright, Liza can now walk. That's good to see. I need someone to kill that last bug. Anyone willing to volunteer for me? Squid? Can you just come here? And then take some shots of this? Thank you. Carry on with your work. And right. All you guys can be killed. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot. I didn't realize the Dreamweaver was shot by some of... It's got permanent gunshot damage to the brain because of the SMG. That's Loba. Oh, you... Sod. Alright, well... That's going to be a whole bunch of new DNA for us. Alright, let's grab... Squid a minute. I'm going to need you to come out here, Squid. I'm going to switch your weapon over. And I just want you to go and break these down for me, please. And this one. I think I'll keep the next bit of hides. You never know, we might sell them off to another bulk trades good. This person trader will even just end up making our own hives again. I've done it in my other Let's Plays, so there's nothing wrong with getting insect jelly in that. It's just... Uh, some people like it, some people don't. Okay, let's haul that in. Let's find somewhere for all these hive pieces. And we've got a lot of dead bodies to clear up now. Oh, Sulfur, are you healed up yet? You are. Okay, good. Right. Gizmo, why are you lying on the floor? Right. Let's, first of all, let's go and get a few more genes from these. Let's get 12 lots from there. And then anything left over then will just burn in the crematorium. Have we actually got Kray Corpse on? I mean, like, we got it for Watton. Okay. What I will do is let's add another burn corpse. I'm not going to make it for compost. I'm not going to bother that anymore. Let's do a quick do corpse. Do this, but we'll have it switched. Hang on. We'll have it do forever, but we're switching it off. And all we're going to do is just basically allow it to get rid of any insect corpses. Because we're not going to be able to eat them or anything like that. So, and I don't, I don't want them to. So what we're going to do is just have it so once we get the material that we kind of want. Oh, no, actually, you know what? Let's not worry too much about that. Let's just get all the genetic material. We can throw it together. Why not? I think that was a much better idea. So, yeah, just keep going, I guess, and grab a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you're going to do within radius of here, so that's fine. We'll just uh, wait for someone to get started with that. Yeah, that can be hauled in too. Oh, I still can't believe that tree we ever got shot in the brain by Loba. Obviously, maybe, maybe it's probably an accident, but you don't know. Maybe something else happened. Maybe she just doesn't like our genetic creatures. Who knows? Alright, maybe it's been sorted. Solve has been sorted. Let's put down now, if we go to the floors, sterile silver, sterile tiles. There we go. We'll pop that by here and here as well. And this will make it now so we're not going to get any germs from being in here. There's other stuff we need to see about getting at some point as well, like the vital center strip stand. This really increases our ability to get over infections, so I definitely want to put that down in some in a bit. Wow, that looks very empty all of a sudden. And what's this? Nitroglycerine. Okay, let's hold the nitroglycerine. Connor's confidence loaded because some items or people are unavailable. Okay, what have we got left to go in? I thought we camel hide 64. 
Uh, cancel it. Do you really want to move camel hide? Fine. If it's really an issue that you can't move that section of camel hide, yes. All right. Let's prepare now to send this off. Where should we go? The nearest settlement to us is actually just here. But we do have Banfin and that on the other side over there. I mean, we've got quite a wide area we can technically go. We can go all the way up here if we wish. But I don't think we need to go quite that far. We've got more Logans here and a stronghold. Because remember, we also need to make sure we get back as well. We don't have any chem fuel for the, to resupply should we go too far. I'll tell you what, let's go to, let's come here to Banfin. See, so give us a gift if we really wanted to. Let's go and visit it. And away it goes. Whee! Okay. They have now landed, so we can add fuel to it if we want it. Let's trade. Let's see what we can give it off and sell. So first of all, let's again head down to the bottom. Alpha Polio Table, Telescope, Gluten Dogs, Plasteel. Did we not get rid of that? I thought we... Had it left the base. No matter. Iron words. To be honest, none of these have really caught my fancy. We'll get some paintings. Let's take it down. We'll sell off our. That. Flakfest can go to. Any of these outfits we want? Exo frame? That could come in handy. It's quite expensive, but. Let's see, burn gauntlets. Medic bag and fine for reflector carapace. I was immune to heat energy. That can come in handy against like laser weapons and that. Shafts. Nothing really like weapon wise. I'm too fussed about. What's this? Ooh, whale gun. Yeah, let's grab one of these. That's a really good gun. Right, that can go. That can go. Bionic lung, spine, replacement leg, advanced power converter. We can sell the spine at least. Evolved nose. So this is actually one of the ones I believe from the Evolved Organs mod. So we can actually buy them at least from other people. That's something good to know. We'll sell the two cartridges. Healer Maximum. I'm actually going to buy that. We can then heal up at least some of the injuries. Beta Poly. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money for a violin. I think I passed. Thank you. Malaria, yeah, we can trade those off. Because we've got the ones that basically does all the events. There's no point in us just keeping it for the sake of... Oh, yeah, we'll have the anti-malaria versions. Alright, so these. Fluies, anti-grain warheads, not too fast. That can go. That can go. We've got more than enough components, so I'm not too fast about that. We've got plenty of meat at this point. I will buy your entire stock of Neutronamine, just because I can. Medicine, I think we've got a fair bit of medicine right now, so I'm not too fussed about that. I'll buy your stock of Plasteel, just because, sure, why not? And I think that's everything I need to worry about, to be honest. Uh, Plasteel dot. I'll sell that, for the moment at least. Except... Okay, let's launch. Let's try out another faction's base. Let's try. We've already spoke to these guys. What about. Oh, what about. Sorry. Did I. I think I clicked the one button then. Ah, uh, no, drop in center. Visit them instead. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's trade. We'll take more Neutronamine. Plasteel we're going to keep here. Lazarus Max Serum. Ah, yeah. So what this one does, it makes it so you can actually, if someone becomes dead, you know, injured, basically, that it will, you, you inject them, basically. And th they will last for 10 days. And then if someone else actually gets injured, they will actually rush then to heal injuries quite quickly. I mean, it's quite a nice little one, I must say, but we're not too fussed about that. Ironwood guitar, poor uranium guitar, nah. Simple spine, synthetic lungs. If we had kidneys, that would be handy. Repeated use. Yeah, let's grab a paint stick. 
Sounds good to me. Hyperweave, dogs, close combat helmets. Flat screen television. Yeah, we're going to grab one of those. An electric organ. Okay, sure. Alright. That's a few things. Let's head back to base. Oh, oops. My bad. Alright. Let's land you back here. I mean, we have no space left for the insect jelly. I suppose we don't, do we? <laughs> no, that's a good point. That's a good point. Fair enough. Oh, why are we putting insects in here? I don't want insects in here. Get out of there. No, right, that's all going to be emptied out now. This is all being done. Still got all these bugs to deal with. Cleaning robots got quite a bit of dirt to pick up here from now. Alright, what are we doing next? Biofuel with finding. Biological distillation? Okay. Might be in this episode that we actually get into looking at playing around with the more a question what ethics mod. That'd be cool. Alright. Oh, Loba, dirty cooking area. Uh, I suppose it's got a point. Let's have a look. Way slow to build. I mean, we could just put something down in here. I mean, so we could just put a floor down. That would help out a bit. And those are just keep on top of the cleaning, too. Sterile tiles to stick. It's some about here. I suppose we can just leave these central bits. There we go. And I'm not sure too sure if it implies to the entire room, or does it just apply for us to stick them near the research benches and it will just do just as good a job? I'm not too sure. Alright. So, a squid, can you just do one more for this, please? Uh, you can swap over from that to that then. Combat supplier? Okay. Gizmo, can we have a quick chat with the... where is it? Have a quick chat with the combat supplier just to see what they've got. Squid, you can drop that off. Okay. High explosive rounds. I definitely want to get a few of those. They were proved to be quite good for us when we had that arachnid colony. So yeah, we're going to grab a couple of these. The Ansvetter gun, I still want to keep. Madness. Interesting. EMP gun. Could be in handy when we fight mechanoids. Crucible precision rifle. Feral guns, top guns. Cleavers, masterworks, beta poly. Assault armor. Oh, I want this. Marksman helmets. Oh, there's just some good stuff here. Really, really good. Like, getting stuff like the fire support armor, which would be really, really good, and assault armor. These would be something I would quite happily spend money on. But I suppose what we could do is wait until we actually get the research for power armor. And then we can just make our own. It should be pretty straightforward to do. Alright, you're fixing up these walls. Thank you, Gizmo. Appreciate it. There's lots of goods trading now coming in from the Arachnid Colony. Oh right, we're dropping the meals on the floor now, are we? Is that all the meals you've made? Yes. Okay, I suppose you can have a break. Now we do need to find somewhere to put like a recreation area, or so we can have the dining area here. We can move like the table and that from where it is at the moment. Stop telling me we've got. Put... Okay, wait. Okay, squid, come over here and sort this out. All right, get rid of the blood on the and the rubbish on the floor, please. Before everyone gets food poisoning because of the dirty floor that no one's bothering to clean up. Thank you. All right. Finish off this last bit here. Uh, go for that last bit there. Anywhere else? 
Nope, I think we're good. Thank you, squid. It was a great, it meant a great deal to me. Thank you. Alright, let's recombine some genes now too. Let's go two of you and two of you. Biofuel refiner is done. So now if we pop up to here, first of all I think we need to put a roof over this bit. Like so, and then if we grab production. Ah, uh, where is it? Biofuel refinery. So we need that to be popped to do. Just make sure we yeah, we don't want it so we have to mine the background. Okay, switch back. There we go. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's definitely the one. Right, so we're just going to wait for that to be done and then we'll be sorted out. We'll be able to start growing organs, we'll be able to make it into chem fuel when needed. It'd be really, really handy. My bamboo's nearly done. Hay grass is going quite nicely. We're getting our neutral flower petals. Oh, yeah, insect jelly is still sitting around. To be honest, I suppose we don't need to actually put it in the... Oh, why are you guys putting the animals in here? Stop it. I suppose they're just staying in there until they need to be in there. They're all done and then we'll obviously swap them out, I guess. Alright. Tell you what, take a break. If you need to go and have a break, Squid, have a break, okay? Go and have some stir fry, go and do what you need to do, okay? Alright, recombine serums. That's been done. Right, what do we have? Boar, wolf, muffler. Okay, we just unfortunately don't have any room in the goddamn freezer. <sighs> okay, you know what? Just as a temporary thing, we're gonna go stockpile, we're gonna stick this here. Go on here, we're gonna get um, insect jelly. Insect jelly. Clear all, everything apart from this. Alright, set so that as critical, so that way now we can haul all the jelly out of the room here. And we can find room then to put the stuff in as soon as we need to. Oh, an eclipse has happened. Alright, that should get people moving a little bit faster now, thank you. That's much, much better. Although, Adam, I don't know what you're going with that meat that you just picked up randomly. Okay, those have been hauled in too. Thank you. Right, this is starting to get built. Right, what's blocked? This. Okay. Uh, Tyler, what? on earth are you doing my man what why what Tyler that is no empty except what oh Christ this are they putting more bodies in here is it just me oh, Jesus wait okay okay I get it Right, let's forbid all of these for now, right? Apart from the toilets, obviously. Right, squid. Squid. You can... Oh, Gizmo's doing it. Okay, Gizmo, you can go and do that. <coughs> right, how many more animals do we can we extract? Let's do another 23. Right, you can't touch those, so you're going to get the ones out of the freezer, aren't you, Gizmo? Right, that's better. Now, can someone please haul in the Paragon stuff that's currently sitting outside? Oh, Lou, you're doing it for me. Thank you. I'm glad that people are listening and actually doing what I asked them to do. It's it's great. <laughs> if only my work was uh, much the same, you know? 
Uh, wait, what am I popping on here for? So check out my construction. Fuzzy is our main other constructor. So what I want to... Oh, you're building the wolf. What? Hang on. Why are you building a roof right now? And why are you going so slow? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Uh, Fad, let me check out your health. Oh, you have... You've just got major food poisoning and everything else. Okay, that makes complete sense now. Why you're moving around as slowly as you are. Don't ignore me, okay? Right. Oh, we've got a date. Gizmo and Squid are going to go on a date on the 8th of December. -y. That's nice. How many is that? Two days from now. Okay. Alright, biological distillation has now been done. So what that basically means is that we can start growing once this is done. We need to really grow two things. We need to get basically nutrients and proteins. And those are going to go together and to make organs and where we grow them. So Lou's going to finish off this bit. And then we should be able to get started. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's forbid selection. Let's just come over here and forbid these now. Hopefully they're not going to try and stick as many of them now in the freezer as they originally tried to do. Bear, wolf. Let's try and get some more paragons. So check. Gene recombinator. Open. Open. Thank you. Let's go two more serums, I think. Obviously, you guys don't want to sleep in your beds here. My Dream Weaver and my Wolf Shrimp are just sort of sitting around and lying around wherever they fancy. I mean, what do they think they are? Cats? <laughs> okay, goodbye, guys. I didn't really need to talk to you. We've just got a fair bit going on in the base right now. We don't need to worry too much. Alright, how's this looking now? We can build this. Okay, Tyler, can you come over here a minute and just build this up for me, please? Alright, Nina's fixing up the floors for me. That's great. Now, I'm trying to remember how much nutrient stuff that we need, because in order to get the stuff, we need to use our food products. In particular, we need to make sure we have meat. Oh, Blissless Revenge. Hang on. Oh, you're going after bass. Okay, that's fine. I thought it, I was worried for a minute. I thought it was one of my colonists. Uh, doo -doo. Okay, bass. I can't say I'm holding on for your chances of winning here. I may died. Oh. Okay. Well, again, why are you? Free there we go. She's hanging on in there. I mean, you can see here that she, she's regenerating her injury. She is quite strong. But on the other hand, she's taken quite a bit of damage from this. I think it... I don't know who's going to win out of that, to be honest. Now, I'll tell you what. Since that one died... Uh, let's haul her in. Might as well make use of the genetic material, so and the outfit that she's got on. So certainly we'll take that. We'll kill you off. Now I'll just let you you stay there, I guess. Ah, I really do want to get an arachne in the colony. Mahold. Uh, Mahold, what are you again? Mahold's my wolf bear. Oh, is it because you're? Pesquis. Oh, that's fine. Okay, uh, hunt it. Uh, guys, why did you... I've asked you to haul in the body, not strip it, and then run it off. <sighs> no matter. Now we're get attacked by an arctic lion. Okay, Lou, do you have a gun? I think you do. Uh, no, switch over to attack. You're not going to run away, away around like this. Okay, get back. 
That's better. Okay, so I want to finish off the Arctic Lion, please. Okay, how are you doing, Mahood? Bleeding out in, f in three hours. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Um, Alright, Miri, are you nearby? No, okay. Can you mount Tracy a minute? Okay, can you get over and rescue... Because Mahal's going to die if we're not careful, so I want to make sure... Because we can't even just pick her up and take her to... Oh, there we go. Okay. Can you f stabilize her first? Okay, that's great. Okay, she's patching you up as well. Thank you. Okay, I'm not too fussed about that or that. Okay, she's now incapable of walking. We do need to give her an extra foot now. Miri, you've now become a target of a lynx. Christ, must just spawned on the map, and the first thing he wants to do is try and target us. Instead of this nice, tasty bit of flesh sitting around right down here. Or even this one. The Arctic Lion is now dead at this point. Who's it's not going to go after her? Hi. Just have it. If you see a, an animal, you can attack it. Thank you. In fact, all of you could do the same, I guess. Apart from at Jarvis and now. Oh, we can't do it that way, right. Attack, attack, attack. Link's Revenge. Oh, well that worked. There you go. Easy peasy. Alright, this place is getting mined out. Tyler, what about you doing now? Or Fuzzy? Fuzzy, can you wake up a minute and just do these for me quick? Thank you, it's appreciated. And then over here now. So. Uh, make Neutronomy from Nitroglycerine. I think that should be a big priority for us, so we'll make sure to do that. Uranium Crystals, this is what we can do then when we actually have... Uh, a radiac, so we're not too concerned about that, but these are the two we need, protein mash and nutrient solution. So these are the two that we need in order to grow organs and stuff like that. Now the only thing is, I can't remember exactly what proportions we need, I believe we need more protein mash, I mean no, more nutrient solution than we need protein mash. So, I'll tell you what, let's queue them up, just ask Prevent it for the moment, just so I know like how much it's going to cost us in order to try and grow stuff. Do we need to worry about this right away? I suppose not really for crude organics. Crude, spine, arm... I suppose... Now nah, we'll leave it for the moment, just because that is going to be a thing. Although, to be honest, the other research is going to be better for us. Let's cancel those, and then we can always come back to them afterwards. Right, that should work now for us. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, let's pop on here. Did I make sure, yeah, we don't want... Just make it out of these two if possible. Or oh, I don't mind if you make it out of leather, just don't do it out of uh, the Galatross and that. So I'll tell you what, make it out of camel hide. There we go, that should do. Dreamweaver now is fully healed, that's great to see. Still don't know why Dreamweaver is just sitting around here instead of going off to... Ah, uh, Insect Jelly is a get still poison type, is it? Oh wow, we've got more steel. Alright. Got another bear. I think it's time for another shopping trip to see what other animals we can bring in. So I'll bring that in, bring that in. Any more? Got that. The reason why I'm looking into this now in particular is because since we are going to be trying to 
make organs. We are going to need protein and that, so we're going to need meat. And it's not too fussy whether it's animal, you know, like insect meat or anything like that. It's really sort of the, the core nutrients that we're sort of after. So as long as we can pick up a bunch of stuff, that should be okay. Alright, you're all going off to do that. All the bugs have been cleared out now from the base. Just like a bit of stain here. Could you quickly get rid of the feces? Apparently that's on the floor. Thank you. You know, can't have a wedding base with feces all over the place, you know? Oh yeah, if we, we can't do in these last now, we can't do these, can we? There we go. Cue those up. Alright, genet is it genetics or is it one of the other ones? No, it's not genetics. I can never remember. It's production, I think. Yeah, organ vats. So we need to, well, put, put down, say, two of these, because these are quite useful to have. Plus, you need to constantly keep them maintained, so we'll make sure I put those down. Alright, we'll run that down here. That's along here. Again, this side and to this side. And then that could be smoothed out as well. Something like this should be fine. Alright, 35 steel, 6 components. Oh, I got more than enough stuff for this. I didn't realize it took silver. I think that's a fairly new thing I didn't expect to see. Let's see if we can deliver the stuff to there though. I would like to at least get one of them up and ready to go before the end of the episode. Entirely okay, you're butchering fuzzy. Let me just borrow you a minute, fuzzy, so we can quickly do these. Thank you. Your work is greatly appreciated. Hmm. Wonder where we can put. I'm thinking, like, because we don't want to go too far this direction, we could always just put a recreation center right here. So it just allows us to put, like, the pool table and all the other stuff that we pick up in one place. Alright. Something to bear in mind once we've finished all the mining out here, at least. Oh, we've got more steel to go for. Jesus. Okay, mine all the connected areas. Oh, that's not too bad. I can really just sort of set this up like this, and people will already do it for me. There we go. Alright. So if we click on this now, you can see this is all the stuff we can grow in here. But before we can do anything, we need to research the actual organs. So for example, natural ears, we need natural sensory organs. I don't see anything though for like backs and stuff like that. So I'm still wondering like how exactly am I supposed to fix situations like, you know, oh we got um, you know, a destroyed back. We can't really swap out spines, but I still don't get what we're supposed to try and do to fix that. But you know what, we'll figure it out now in the next episode. So, game's port, there we go. So, all I'm going to say for now though is thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you join me next time for more Wind World. But until then everyone, take care, and goodbye for now.